So here how I made a statue 3D. Uh, you can see I'm covering with chocolate to seal the metal and adding some Rice Krispies for the legs. Um, quite a lot of Rice Krispies, <laughs> but sometimes don't want to stick, so you have to persevere. So the bottom is basically Rice Krispies with marshmallows, and then we get to the cake. The cake is vanilla and strawberry. I had to carve it. I had to carve it a couple of times, take it in and out of the fridge because it just was in quite good shape um if i wanted to do ideally how it should be which is more slimmer it would not be much cake so i had to make him a little bit you know bigger basically uh using lots of chocolate ganache and molding it to this to the shape i uh, used a lot of ganache as well adding some details um and here you can see as well i'm using a bit more fondant to create creases uh, when you cover with fond uh, sorry that's the fondant but i covered it with modeling chocolate modeling chocolate is more stable stronger maybe harder to cut it later <laughs> arms i did do with rice crispy stews so the chocolate was the uh, body and uh, you can see as well the chest um yeah it was quite challenging i have to say i but i do love this kind of um challenges so please <laughs> give me some more now uh, his face obviously when he's cartoon you need to look very much like him because we all know the characters and this is Goku from uh, Dragon's Ball cartoon uh, so the eye shape he looks quite angry so it's quite a lot of modeling so that takes a long time I would say and depends how angry he is apparently he changes color hair color so um, I picked it like a blue turquoisey that's probably one of my favorite colors. So it's quite challenging to keep the modeling chocolate on top for his hair because it's quite a lot of weight and you think about gravity. So, um, yeah, you have to be very mindful. I, I don't think you should be, you're not just a cake maker. You are actually um, architect, um, painter, decorator. You have to have an awful lot of skills. So, uh, yeah, he come out quite good here. I was quite pleased. And uh, eventually I had to add, um, well, you can see I put cling film to hold it because of the weight. And that was quite a bit of a worry, but we managed and we traveled with it. So not bad. I put a lot of color. I put very lightly color first, you know, uh, obviously edible colors, but later I added even more because I think it looked a bit more standout, but really makes a difference if you add color so you should always uh, brush it uh, or brush it with a lot of color uh, i think even a small cake even little pieces i always finish it brushing it uh, adding colors so i was quite pleased with his face because he looked quite angry like he normally does and um i, I use obviously not sure if it's a fire he was on a picture so i created like a fire um from isable isable so you can see lots of it i made quite a few of those and attached to the board on the bottom it was just as the picture i received to get it as well so yeah attached it to the bottom just finished the cake off beautifully i would say and um yeah look at him uh i think the result was quite good and happy birthday toby very lucky boy <laughs>